Hey guys, it's Ben here from Wingman Productions. I just wanted to make another video. The previous video I made on the how to get a good gent tone in pod farm. Uh, you know, I did it quite a while ago, so I wanted to update it, do a new version, uh, new guitar tone, new bass tones, uh, better drum sounds, all that sort of thing. And I'm gonna make a series of videos that goes through how to achieve each of those sounds, how to mix it, and just how to get that complete sound all round. Uh, so this first video is going to be focusing on drums uh, and how to get the drum sound that I achieve in this track. So the first thing I'm going to do is just play the song for you straight out so you can hear what it is we're dealing with. Okay, so that was the track. So let's dive straight in with the drums then. So, I mean, I use Superior Drummer 2.0 um, and Metal Foundry add-on. So the first thing to think about really is when we're opening up Superior Drummer is to make sure that we select multiple output as opposed to stereo. The multiple output option will allow you to do what I've done here um, and mix the channels individually. So I've got kick, snare, toms, hats, rooms and a compression channel um, now I mean I haven't gone through too technical a route in terms of picking the kit all I did was you know I've gone through the metal foundry um, presets I've found one that I like the sound of the most I don't actually remember which one it is in this case but you know the same process applies to you guys whatever you want to pick whatever one you think sounds best as a starting point is the way to go um, the reason why is these presets have already got things like EQ and compression set up on some of these channels and they've also got buses set up so that the kick mics all the snare mics are going to one location um, what you do need to do um, is obviously the, when you open up the channel all these are set to output one two output one two output one two so I'm just going to show you quickly how to to get that basic sound so essentially, I've, I've opened up a... Let me get rid of this one. So I've got, got the drums all down here. Uh, right now, they're coming out just stereo. So if I play them on their own... You know, it, it sounds okay, but there's no... You've got no control now. I, I can't use any additional EQ within Logic itself, so I'm stuck with whatever I've got. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click this button down here, the plus button. So 
So we need one, two, three, four, five additional tracks. So we've got the kick, snare, toms, hats, reverbs, compressions. Uh, you can label them. All right, so we've got the um, these channels set up now, which is good news. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Superior. Okay, so when you come in and you see these buses here, we've got um, all of them currently coming out of one and two, which is this channel here. So we wanna separate them out. So we've got two snare channels. We want them both coming out three and four. We want Tom's coming out five and six, hi-hats coming out seven and, seven and eight. Overheads and room I have out coming the same. So we have them coming out 9 and 10, and then compression coming out 11 and 12. So now what we should have is, um, if I solo these up, is we should have everything playing through the individual track. So it's sounding a bit better now. We've got immediately a lot more control over what we're going to do with the sound. Um, so to start with, let's have a listen to this kick drum. Um, it's sounding pretty weak right now. So I'm not going to do too much to this. I'm just going to add some uh, EQ quickly. It's not going to be anything major. We're going to give it a little push around here. We're going to duck out some of the sound here. There. So that's, I'm happy with that. Let's have a listen to the snare. Snare on its own. So this one you can see it's sort of done a middle push. So let's open up another one here. So yeah, let's give it a push where it wants to. Okay, so now we've got, let me just meet these ones. So let's have a listen to the full kick. So we need to do some uh, fiddling with the, with the sound, with the volumes here. So let's bring down, let's bring down these volumes. Okay. So now what we're doing is, Okay, so the next thing we can do here is we I tend to, um, you can either set these into a group, uh, which will allow you to amend the volumes of these as one, which is quite useful, or you can send them to a bus. Um, so instead of them all coming out of the stereo output, you can send them to bus five and you can control them. And then you can also add additional EQ and compression if you wanted to that way. What we're going to do is uh, let's leave it as group four. So if we want to, we can amend the volume of the drums as a whole now that we think we're happy with how this sounds. So for me, I find that although Superior is, you know, it is recorded in a room where you do get room sound, is I want more of it. And I also want more compression on the drums just to make them, to beef them up, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to send let's start with compression so grab everything we're going to go to the send channel here we're going to send it to let's say bus 10 and then what we need to do is grab this here and wind it up to zero so all of these have already gone up to zero okay so if we go over here we've got the channel that that is coming to. We're going to label this drum compression. And what we're going to do is we're going to smack this hard with compression, okay? Because once we've got the compression open, we're going to uh, fiddle them out with this until it's, you know, around the minus 12-ish region here. Okay, so we'll leave that as that. And then what we want to do is we're going to set up an additional reverb. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab 
Um, everything but the kick. We want the kick to be dry still. Uh, we don't want that to have any reverb of any kind on. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bust all these to track 11. Um, what you want to find is let's we'll start by dragging them all up to zero. Or round zero is fine. That's good and we'll label this drum verb. Let's listen to that on its own. What we're going to do is open up Space Designer. I'm going to get a nice big verb. Let's go with something like a large space, medium space, let's say, and we're going to use a plate reverb. Say drum plate, why not? That's super roomy. What you want to do is, I mean, you can hear certain things coming through louder than others, so maybe roll the snare back a bit. Okay, so let's hear it um, all together now. So we'll solo the, all the drums on their own, drum compression and drum reverb that we've added in. This is just the drums. Okay, so that's basically it. I'll um, play it with the track and see if we've achieved anything similar to what we had before. The original drums are all still muted. Okay, so I'm noticing straight away the kick drums need to be louder. Let's just... Ungroup these a second. Add a bit more click. Okay hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning into this video. If you have any questions about anything I did here, or if I missed anything out, which I probably did, I haven't done many of these, so I'm not used to talking through things. So yeah, thank you for tuning into this. I hope you found it uh, useful, educational, you know, whatever you want to call it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments box. Uh, next week, I'm going to move on to the guitar tones for this track, or you know, whenever I get around to doing it. Um, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and like it and share it with your friends. I'll make the track available to download in the description. There'll be a link to the SoundCloud. Uh, and obviously you can hear a whole host of other musical ideas and all sorts of shit there. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.